this looks horrible right now. She wanna woo, nigga. She wanna fuck with the woo. Welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos nuevamente a mi canal. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Ayandra and I'm back with another hair video. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I got this bob unit to look so flawlessly. This is a closure wig, believe it or not. It's not a full frontal. Wow, I got hair in my mouth. I'm sorry. It's not a full frontal and I've never had closure wigs before. So this is my first time wearing a closure wig and I have to say I'm really pleased, really happy with it and it will definitely be a wig you guys will see more of on my channel on me, obviously. Duh. So shout out to Victoria's Wig for sponsoring today's video and sending me this cute ass bob, okay? I'm really living for this short hair moment. So before we get into the video, don't forget to like it, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share with friends and family, and let's get into the video. Oh, by the way, in the video, if you guys can hear my fan, I'm sorry, but you know what? It's hot. It's been hot all day. Okay, so today's hair is from Victoria's Wigs. They were so kind to send me, you know, a little cute unit or whatever. I'm really excited for this unit. I've already done a hair that is this color, but I haven't done this length. That's what it is, okay? And inside of the box, I have the little Victoria's Wigs um bag with the hair it is so cute i love the design i love these little things like this you all fancy okay then here we have a little pouch with stuff that i want to show you guys and also they have a little thing with all their contact information and uh social media handles and also brand they have like their brand story right here then they have the hair care routine in the middle, and then they have storing wigs 101. So this is really good for beginners if y'all don't know, you know, how to take care of your wigs or how to, you know, store your wigs and stuff like that, or maintenance, wig maintenance. I think that's what I want. That's what I'm trying to say. And then in this little pouch, this is so dope. I love when hair companies send you like all the essentials for you to apply the wig correctly so you i open up the pouch and we have a few goodies in here so they sent me a little brush i'm guessing this is kind of like a concealer brush so you can use it to apply concealer in the parting of your wig and then they sent me a rag tail comb and these always come in handy baby always okay then they also send me this cute pink uh, what is it called edge brush so this is for you to lay your baby hairs and all of that and I don't I, I love like I use these all the time with all my applications basically and then they also sent me a tweezer for me to tweeze my wig and then finally they sent me two sets of wig caps now this this is where I'm like yo you Victoria's wigs, they're the real MVPs because this is the first hair company. Oh, this is the fir first hair company that has ever sent me two different shades of wig caps. I just feel like it's really inclusive. That means that they're at least they know that not all their wearers use the same shade of wig cap. So they sent me the dark one and then they sent me the nude one. And then finally for the hair, the hair is in this cute little bag. Let's open it up and see. So this is the unit that they sent me and I've been dying to do a bob for the longest. If you've seen my last two, my last um, wig video, I feel like, I think I mentioned that I wanted to cut it so bad. So this is the unit that they sent me, it's a short bob. I will have all the specs of the hair in the description bar down below because I honestly do not remember. But I believe this is either 12 or 14 inches, maybe shorter, I'm not sure, I do not remember. But what's also exciting to me about this, <laughs> this is a first time for me, this is a closure wig. It's not a full frontal, it's literally just a closure. And I've never done closure wigs before. So it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, how I finesse it. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this wig. Now, the only thing different that I'm doing today is that I am not bleaching the knots. Because it is a closure wig, I kind of want to see if I'm able to just finesse it with concealer. 
uh, instead of going ahead and bleaching the knots and all that stuff. If I feel like I need to bleach the knots, you know, like further down the line or whatever, I'll do that and I'll update you guys on how that looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a wig cap from the ones that they sent me. Okay, so I have my wig cap on and we're gonna go ahead and apply this wig. I'm not sure if I want to apply any foundation to it because it is kind of tinted so I think I'm just gonna skip okay so the construction of the wig I didn't show you guys the construction of the wig is that it has two combs on the side one and two then it has one in the center which is this one right here and then it has adjustable straps and then it has the regular adjustable straps like this which is all the way in the back and then it also has a comb in the back I love the fact that these this unit came with the adjustable straps already on it because the other wigs that I've had come they normally come with adjustable straps but not sewn like so you have to sew this part by yourself and that's just something me personally maybe I'm not gonna do it this looks horrible right now right now it looks crazy but just bear with me we're gonna make it look cute okay the hair feels really soft like extremely soft i like that uh it feels really snug and secure baby okay the wig does not come pre-plucked so i guess that's why they also sent me the little tweezers so i can you know tweeze away anything that i do not want i'm just gonna go ahead and tweeze a little bit Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the wig, but I'm not using glue because it's a closure wig. Today, I'm going to lay down my wig with this got to be high insta hold hairspray. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm just going to lift up this part right here. And I'm just gonna spray. A layer of that let it dry a little bit I don't have a blow dryer right here so we're just gonna have to wait but my fan is doing the job so it's okay 12 seconds later so I'm going to only do that one layer then I'm going to fold this down so in the meantime while this dries and like you know sits in or whatever I'm going to take my Elegir Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee and I'm just going to put that in the parting. And I'm just going to clip the hair back a little bit. And I'm going to be creating some baby hairs or so, I think. So, I sectioned out this part and I'm going to cut it up and create some cute little baby hairs. like that and I will be using the same hairspray to lay my baby hairs because I mean she why not so I'm gonna go ahead and use an edge brush that I have here so I'm just gonna spray some of this on the brush uh, I guess you don't have to take as much as I did Ooh. as much as I did but you could take whatever you feel is necessary So 
So I'm just gonna take like random pieces and start curling them. I don't, I don't want to do this in any specific, um, I guess, order or whatever you want to call it. I just kind of want to curl, you know, random pieces of hair. And I'm curling them in different directions. I'm not curling every single strand in the same direction. We don't want that because we do want, you know, body to the hair. Okay, so I'm done curling the hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the hairspray. I'm just going to spray it lightly over the curls before I run my fingers through it. So let's see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the curling iron and I'm going to lift up this part so it kind of falls as I do with every other unit. So I'm just going to do this. So now I'm going to run my fingers through the hair and kind of break up the curls a little bit. Okay, so I am officially done curling the unit and basically I'm done with the application. So far, I think it looks really, really good. However, I do think that's going to look way better as soon as I do my makeup. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup off camera and then I'll be back in a second. 2,000 years later. So I'm back. I did my makeup and I look real cute and real nice. Okay. Um. So what happened is it's been a long it's day. It's been many hours later from the previous clip. I bet you guys can tell because the lighting is different. It's literally nighttime. Like it got dark while I was filming. But whatever. What happened was that me being me and me being the perfectionist that I am as you guys saw in the previous clips I took this wig right out the box didn't bleach the knots I didn't do anything I just applied it to my head put some concealer and called it a day okay and I put it on with hairspray perfect boom what happened was I got up from this chair looked myself in the mirror and I was just like girl baby baby so I went ahead and I removed the wig bleach the knots and do the whole process again so that's the only thing that's different now from the previous clips I bleached the knots and I reapplied the wig so the curls are a little bit different uh, definitely my hairline looks way 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 better it looks way more natural and I am very much more pleased is that even a sentence I don't know listen I like it way better now than I did before I did my makeup. So yeah, this is the final look. I am super pleased with this wig I love how like flowy and nice the hair is. I love the cut of the bob I just think it looks really freaking good. Okay, I think I did a good job For this to be a closure and me to never want a closure before I think it looks really good and I thought I was gonna be like, damn, I feel the need to, you know, tuck my hair behind my ear and stuff like that. Like, I do that a lot and I really like to tuck my hair behind my ear, behind my ear. but I don't feel the need to do that because one, it's a bob, and two, obviously I can't, it's a closure. But that's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm really pleased with the hair. I like how it looks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, share with friends and family. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.